Today, we are going to go through our English 4 of Quarter 1, Module 1, Recognizing the Parts of a Simple Paragraph. But before anything else, don't forget your SLM or self-learning module, your pen, and your notebook. Our lesson for today will give you to recognize the parts of a simple paragraph. And at the end of the lesson, you are expected to identify the parts of a simple paragraph, distinguish the parts of a simple paragraph, read and analyze the paragraph carefully. Here is your first task, entitled, What I Know. Answer the following question to measure how will you know the lesson. Number 1. What are the parts of a simple paragraph? Letter A. Introduction, body, and ending. Letter B. Topic sentence, supporting details, and conclusion. Letter C. First part, second part, and last part. Number two, how will you identify the topic sentence in a given paragraph? Letter A, it tells what the paragraph is all about. Letter B, it supports the main idea by providing details. Letter C, it sums up the details presented in a paragraph. For items 3 to 5, read the short paragraph below, then answer the questions provided. Television or TV is the easiest means to access information at home. At present, most Filipino homes can provide TV for their family. Regardless of the kind of TV we have, one of the benefits we get from watching TV programs is information. Children can explore the places that they wanted to go. They can also get an idea of protecting environment too. Parents become aware of the news happening in different parts of the world. All of us learn just by sitting in front of the TV while having fun. Television or TV is the easiest means to access information at home. While TV has been generous in providing a multitude of information, still, it is in our minds to decide for our advantage. Number 3. What is the topic sentence of a given paragraph? Letter A. Sentence 1. Letter B. Sentence 7. Letter C. Sentence 8. Number 4. Using the same paragraph, what are the supporting details? Letter A. Sentence 1. Letter B. Sentence 2 to 6. Letter C. Sentence 8. For number 5. What part of the conclusion of the paragraph used in number 3 and 4? Letter A, sentence 1. Letter B, sentence 2 to 6. Letter C, sentence 8. Okay, it's time to check your answers. For number 1, letter B. Number 2, letter A. Number 3, 
letter B. Number 4, letter B. Number 5, letter C. How many correct answers did you get? Don't worry, this module will help you master the lesson about recognizing the parts of a simple paragraph. Nice start, learner! Keep moving forward. And now, let us proceed to our next task, What's In? What is paragraph? Before you learn the new lesson, do this drill which will let you distinguish a paragraph from a non paragraph. Write a check mark if a group of sentences is a paragraph and an X mark if it's not. Paragraph number one. My school is one of the largest in our province. We have over 2,000 students. To accommodate all of us, our school had to have 45 classrooms. For now, we only have 30 classrooms. Some classes occupy makeshift classrooms. Our principal is working hard to have more classroom built so that Students and teachers will be comfortable. Paragraph number two. Every bus needs a driver. Buses are not cheap. Different kinds of buses lie our streets. They bring people to different destinations. A lot of people come to our place to do business, shop, and while away their time. It's really warm today. Paragraph number 3 My family and I went to the wildlife park. It is one of the most visited places in our city. It houses snakes, birds, giraffes, lion and tiger, and even crocodiles. My favorite toy is a train which goes up and down a hill. For our last paragraph, our teacher had a baby. So, we have a substitute teacher, Miss Rojas. She is nice and funny. We always enjoy when she comes to our class. She makes us laugh with her jokes. She allows us to play outside once in a while. She also teaches well. Okay, it's time to check your answers. For paragraph number one, if you wrote a check mark, then you are right. Paragraph number one focuses on a single idea which is about my school. Next, if you wrote an X, then you are correct. Paragraph number two does not focus on a single idea. Number three, if you wrote an X mark, good job. Paragraph number three does not focus on a single idea. And for the last paragraph, if you wrote a check mark, then you were right. Paragraph number four focuses on a single idea which is about our substitute teacher. Are you eager to learn something new in this module? Let's proceed to our next task, what's new? Let's answer this puzzle, four pigs, one word. What word is common to the pictures? Can you guess what the word is? Here's another clue. Most of these are found in the school library. If your answer is book or books, then you got it. So, do you love reading books? What is your favorite book? What do you think is the oldest printed book in the world? Do you want to know the answers? When you keep going, you will know the answer.
today, we are going to read a paragraph about books. But before that, let us first answer the crossword puzzle using the words that we will encounter when we read the paragraph. Do you have what it takes to be a word master? These are the words. Preserve, essential, scrolls, ancient, papyrus, manuscript, unravel, codex, durable, compact, Parchment, Printing, Mahayana All you have to do is select the word that is being described. Don't worry, because I'll be giving you an example of the words that can be used in a sentence. Let's start with down. Item number one. Five letters. It is an ancient manuscript text in book form. My grandfather owns a that he likes to read. Next, number three. Seven letters. This word means lasting or unbreakable. This table is so that it can't be easily damaged. Number 5. Eight letters. It refers to the production of books, newspapers, or other printed. Be sure to check your article for errors before it number seven eight letters it is a branch of buddhism i have a chinese friend who shares stories about his religion Number 9. Seven letters. These are rolls of parchment or paper that can be used for writing or painting. For our project in English, we were assigned to write a slogans on Number 11. Seven letters. This word means very old or having existed for a long time. Even in the times, Filipino already had tattoos. Number 12. Seven letters. It means to separate into parts. In our science class, we had to the parts of a flower and identify each of them. Now, let's proceed to the words across. Number two, nine letters. It is a stiff, flat, thin material for writing. I like to use papers for my journal number six seven letters it is a plant used during ancient times as a writing surface the Egyptians used the plants to make sheets Number 8. This word means joined or packed together. My bag is more than yours, so it's easier for me to carry it. 
Number 10. Nine letters. It means important. It is to review our lesson so we won't fail the exam. For our last item, number 13, 11 letters. It is a book, document, or piece of music written by hand. Can you give me the about the story we read last week? Kids, do you think you got the right answers? Let's check and put the correct answers in the boxes. Let's start with down. Number one, it is an ancient manuscript in book form. The answer is codex. Number three, this word means lasting or unbreakable. The answer is durable. Number four, it means to keep up or maintain. It is called preserve. Next, it refers to the production of books, newspapers, or other printing. The answer is printing. Number seven, it is a branch of Buddhism. Mahayana. Number nine. These are rolls of parchment or paper that can be used for writing or painting. Scrolls. Number eleven. This word means very old or having existed for a long time. Ancient. Number 12, it means to separate into parts. Unravel. And now, let's go for a crossword. Number 2, it is a stiff, flat, thin material for writing. Parchment. Number 6, it is a plant used during ancient times as a writing surface. Papyrus Number 8. This word means joined or packed together. Compact Number 10. It means important. The answer is essential. And for the last item, Number 13, it is a book, document, or piece of music written by hand is Manuscript. Remember the following words you learn in the crossword puzzle for you to understand well the paragraph that follows. Let us read the paragraph. Books are the oldest source of information that never gets old. Even before, when the oldest radio has not been invented, books were able to provide information to the people around the world. Books have been an essential part of human lives since the old times. They have been used for telling stories, preserving history, in sharing information about our world. The first ever recognized books were the ancient scrolls. These are rolled up manuscripts made from papyrus plant and ranges from 14 to 52 feet wide when unraveled. The second type of book was the book to go of romance, more similar to the style of books today. The Romans created some of the first codices from as early as the 1st century. The codex was more durable and compact than a scroll 
as it was made with parchment paper and bound with wooden covers. Information is important and books had been a necessity for everyone. The need for books resulted to the discovery of printed books. The first recorded printed book in history is the Diamond Sutra of Mahayana Buddhism. Books in school are all product of printing. These modern days, books are now in electronic form. Electronic book or e-book for short is the most convenient type of books as long as you have the gadgets to read on. Books may change over time but it will never get tired nor old in giving us vast information around the world. Were you able to understand the paragraph that we have read? Let us now try to answer the following questions based on what we have read. If you have been a well reader, you'll be able to answer this. Let us answer the following questions. Number one, what is the source of information mentioned in the paragraph? The answer is books. Number two, what are the types of book? Based from the second paragraph, there have been a various types of books like ancient scrolls, codex, modern printed books, and ebooks. How does each type of book differ from each other? The books differ in terms of how they are made, like ancient scrolls were made from papyrus plant, codices were made with parchment papers and bound with a wooden cover. Our books that we have today are printed by machines, and ebooks are electronically made, and you can read it on gadgets. Next, why do we need books? We need books to get information. They also tell stories, preserve history, and share information about our world. And lastly, how do you imagine our world without books? I can't imagine the world without books. It may be a lonely world without books. And now, let us go to our next task, what is it? Now, we are going to discuss thoroughly the meaning of a paragraph and its parts. So what is paragraph? Paragraph is made up of sentences focusing on a single idea. Read again the first line of the paragraph. Books are the oldest source of information that never gets old. Did it tell you what the paragraph will be about? If you answered yes, you are right. And this is what we call the topic sentence. It is the first part of a paragraph. The topic sentence is a sentence in a paragraph that gives the reader insight or idea into what it is all about. It states the main idea of a paragraph. It is located at the beginning of a paragraph. Sometimes it can be found in the middle or end of the paragraph. You have to read well the paragraph so that you can be able to identify correctly the topic sentence.
Most of the sentences in a paragraph are considered supporting sentences, just like this. What are supporting sentences? Supporting sentences make the body of a paragraph. It expands the topic sentence in details to develop the idea presented on it. That is why it is also called as supporting details. The numbers of sentences vary, but the typical paragraph should have two or five supporting sentences. And the last is a concluding sentence. A concluding sentence marks the end of the paragraph, and it summarizes or raises the key points of the paragraph. This is the last sentence in a paragraph. In this paragraph, it is concluded that books may change over time, but it will never get tired nor old in giving us vast information around the world. Let us try this one. Read the paragraph carefully. Write the information being asked in each item. My favorite subjects are English, Mathematics, and Science. English is one of my favorite subjects because I love reading stories and writing stories about fairy tales. Next is Mathematics because when I was still young, my mother taught me about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and even dividing. My interest in science began when we had a field trip in a zoo, where I had so many questions about animals. I always stopped the class in these subjects, and I really work hard to love the other subjects as well. Did you understand the paragraph? Now, let's divide it according to its parts. What is the topic sentence of the paragraph? Did you say the first sentence? You're right! The first sentence tells us the main idea which is about the favorite subjects of the speaker. How many supporting sentences are there? Did you say three? Good job! And what are they? The supporting sentences are from the second sentence to fourth sentence because it explains why the speaker's favorite subjects are mathematics, science, and English. And what is the concluding sentence? It is the last sentence because it tells the key points of the paragraph. If you get all the answers correctly, great! Congratulations! You are ready for the next activity. If you did not get all the correct answers, still, you did well. Don't rush learning. Study again the lessons and try to answer in the second time. Improvement is waiting at you. Our next task is entitled What's More? Continue being fantastic. Below are the activities that will further improve your understanding about the lesson. Let's proceed with letter A. What's the lead? Read the paragraph below and identify what part of the paragraph is missing. Blank, Berto, and like his friends, listen attentively from the resource speaker. He never lets his friends disturb him from listening actively. When the speaker is done, he asks a question. To everybody's surprise, only Berto was able to answer it. Truly, you can never run out of ideas when you are an active listener. Choose the best topic sentence that will complete the paragraph. 
Letter A. Active listening can be done while talking with others. B. Active listening helps an individual understand well the message of the speaker. Letter C. Effective listening makes an individual fall asleep. What is your answer? If you choose B, then you are very much ready to answer the following questions below. Let's try some more. Select the best topic sentence that will complete the paragraph. Write your answer on your answer sheet. Number 1. Blank. Cell phone bridges the gap of communication. This is the best gift of technology to us. As long as you have the access to the internet or has no load, no matter how far or near the person you wanted to talk with, cell phone can do it for you. However, aside from its good features especially in communication, there are still incidents reporting the harmful effect of cell phone on our health. Overexposure to radiation is unhealthy. Cell phone is functional, but users must be aware and prevent its bad effects by decreasing the number of hours spent in chatting and playing games on their cell phones. Letter A Cell phone makes communication convenient but dangerous when used too much. Letter B Cell phone used to capture the best moment of your life. Letter C Cell phone will fail you to communicate with your loved ones or friends unless it has a load or access to the internet. Number 2. Blank. Instead of playing with friends, Adrian does the household chores immediately after recovering his energy from miles of walk in going home. When done, he reviews all his lessons of the day. All his assignments were prepared at night, and everything is ready for tomorrow. He focused his review on their mathematics lesson about fraction. When teacher Maxima entered their classroom, everyone was told to prepare a clean paper. Adrian got a perfect score because he studied the lesson well. What is the best topic sentence? Letter A. Watching TV can help pupils get a high score in a surprise quiz. Letter B. Studying the lesson every night always proved a positive result. Letter C. Studying the lesson should be banned at home. Number 3. Blank. The sender transmits the message while the receiver accepts the message. The most important factor in communication is the good delivery of the message to ensure better understanding which will result in a satisfying answer. Moreover, the tool in communication is as important as the message being sent because it is the channel by which the message is delivered. What is the best topic sentence? Letter A. Communication is a process by which a message is transmitted. Letter B. Communication has three important elements the sender, the receiver, and the medium. For letter C, communication happens when a sender gives information on the receiver. And now, let's check your answer. For number 1, letter A. Number 2, letter B. Number 3, letter A. How was your answer? If you got 3, tremendous! You mastered the lesson very well. You are now ready for the next activity. If you got 1 or 2, never stop. You can do better for the second time. 
review the lesson, and be more focused. Okay, let's have letter B, thought working. Are you still motivated to learn? Let's do this activity. This activity will help you widen your understanding in recognizing supporting sentences when the topic sentence is given. So the topic sentence. The internet is the best gift that all students would want to have. Choose the sentence that is not relevant to the given topic sentence. Letter A. Internet provides students with thousands of informations needed for their projects, research, and traditional learning. To B. By just clicking, information will appear on the screen of the computer. And students would simply scroll and select the appropriate data. Letter C. Internet tolerates the students to play online games instead of gathering information that would help them learn something new. What would be your answer? If you choose letter C, you are very good. Option A and B prove how the internet could help students gather information conveniently, thus making tasks easy. While option C shows the negative impact of the internet to students which is not relevant to the topic sentence. Do you want more? Okay, let's proceed. Choose the sentence that is not relevant to the given topic sentence. Write the letter of the correct answer on your answer sheet. Number 1. Philippine is home to beautiful beaches. Which is not relevant? Option A. The white beach of Boracay attracts tourists to visit its clear water and find white sand. Letter B. Mayon Volcano in Albay is famous for its perfect cone shape. Letter C. Karamuan Beach in Karamuan, Camarines Sur invites everyone to escape the city for a while and try some adventures while enjoying the breathtaking scenery of the island. Number 2 Also known as Pearl of the Orient, the Philippines is an archipelago consisting of 7,641 islands and islets. Which is not relevant? Option A. The biggest islands in the Philippines are Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Letter B. Most of the places are surrounded by bodies of water. Letter C. San Juanico Bridge is the longest bridge in the country which connects the province of Samar and Leyte. Number 3. It is more fun in the Philippines. Which is not relevant to the topic sentence. Option A. Filipinos celebrate different colorful, grandiose, and music-filled festivals with some tourist foods prepared. Letter B. Hiking, diving, and surfing are some of the adventures you can enjoy with your friends. Letter C. Philippines is a democratic country. Okay, let's check your answer. For number one, the answer is letter B. Mayon Volcano in Albay is famous for its perfect cone shape. The topic sentence is about beaches found in the Philippines and Mayon Volcano is not a beach. Number two, the answer is letter C. San Juanico Bridge is the longest bridge in the country which connects the province of Samar and Leyte. The topic sentence talk about the Philippines as an archipelago 
and San Juanico Bridge has nothing to do with it. Last number. The correct answer is letter C. Philippines is a democratic country. Sentence in letter A and B talks about the fan activities that can be done in the Philippines. While the sentence in letter C, it's talk about the democracy in the Philippines which is not relevant to the topic sentence. Good job! I am sure that you got an excellent score. Now that we can recognize the topic sentence and the supporting sentences in the paragraph, let us now explore the last part, the concluding sentence. Can we give the best concluding sentence in the paragraph? I think this will be an easy one. Let's keep going to our letter C activity, the bottom line. Read the paragraph below, then give the best concluding sentence. Nutritious foods are what our body needs. Eating vegetables instead of potty foods helps our body functions better. Fruits supply the body with different vitamins and minerals that help fight diseases. Meat, beans, and fish provide our body with protein, which is needed for muscle building. Salty and junk foods harm our body. What is the best concluding sentence of the paragraph? Is it A. If you want to live longer, eat only nutritious foods. Or letter B. Junk foods have benefits to our body. Or letter C. In short, foods are delicious. What is your answer? The best option is letter A. If you want to live longer, eat only nutritious foods because it best concludes the sentence in the paragraph. If you got it, thumbs up children! The next activity will be an easy one. Read the paragraph and choose the best concluding sentence that will best complete the paragraph. Write the letter of the correct answer in your answer sheet. Number 1. My grandmother is loving and a strong woman. She loves me more than anything else. She is my personal nurse when I am sick. She always find a solution to our problems. What do you think is the best concluding sentence? Is it letter A? She's the most loving and strongest person that I have in my life. Letter B. She is the best woman in my life. Letter C. She is the woman that I love the most. Number 2. My pet dog is my best friend. We walk around the garden every morning. We play together at the park in the afternoon. He is always with me wherever I go. I love my pet so much. He listens attentively to my funny jokes. What could be the best concluding sentence? Is it letter A? My pet dog is the kindest one. Letter B. My pet dog knows how to give me comfort and happiness like a real best friend. Letter C. I am lucky for having a nice pet dog. Number 3. 
There are many things I enjoy doing in our garden. I help my brother water the plants. I am happy watching the seeds growing. My eyes become bigger when I see fruits ripening day by day. What do you think is the best concluding sentence? A. In short, I enjoy the garden because I love planting plants. Letter B. I love the fresh air in the garden. Letter C. The smell of flowers is sweet. Let's check your answer for number one. The best concluding sentence is letter A. She's the most loving and strongest person that I have in my life. Number two. The correct option is letter B. My pet dog knows how to give me comfort and happiness like a real best friend. And for the last item, the best concluding sentence is letter A. In short, I enjoy the garden because I love planting plants. Yay! You're doing a great job! If you got three, you have a brilliant mind and you are ready for the next exciting activity. If you got one or two, don't be discouraged. You can do better next time. You can review the lesson anytime. You made it children, you're almost done. Let me congratulate you for doing such a great job. Our next task is what I have learned. Hey learner, what have you learned in this module? Let's have a fast review on the important points in the module. Are you ready? Let's begin here. What is paragraph? Paragraph is made up of sentences that focus on a single idea. And it has a three parts. The topic sentence, supporting sentences, and concluding sentence. What is your idea about the topic sentence? Topic sentence, it tells the reader the main idea or what the paragraph will be about. What are the supporting sentences? Supporting sentences make up the body of a paragraph. It expands the topic sentence in detail to develop the idea presented in it. It is also called a supporting details. And what is a concluding sentence? A concluding sentence marks the end of a paragraph. It summarizes or raises the key points of the paragraph. This is the last sentence in a paragraph. And it ends with a big success! I hope this module helped you a lot. And now, you are equipped with lessons needed to the next activity. Continue doing a great job! And for our next task, what I can do. In this task, let's try a new challenge, children. This challenge will help you apply what you have learned in the mojo. Read the paragraph and identify the different parts of a paragraph. In school, children begin discovering what they will be in the future. Children are taught in school with the basic life skills as computing and reasoning. The school gives them the chance to become doctors, policemen, engineers, teachers, and whatever profession they would want to be inside the four-corner room. The school also guides them to discover their talents, skills, and interests in life. The school encourages children to always give the best and stand out in their ways. As a second home, 
School is a stage of different soon-to-be leaders of our country. And now, let's check your answer. What is the topic sentence of the paragraph? Did you say the first sentence? You're right! The topic sentence is the first sentence of the paragraph. How many supporting details are there? Did you say four? Very good! It has four supporting sentences. The second to fourth sentences support the topic sentence. And what is the concluding sentence? The last sentence of the paragraph is the concluding sentence. Congratulations! If you correctly got the answer for each part of a sentence, excellent! You learned a lot. You are well ready for the next activity. But if you did not get all the answers in each part, don't worry, you can do it better for a second time. Here is a virtual hug for you. Keep in mind that successful people makes mistakes. Yay, children! You're doing a great job! We are now about to finish our lesson about paragraph. I think you are ready to test for the assessment. I know you can do this. Use everything you learned in this module. Are you ready? Read the questions carefully. Write the letters of your answer in your answer sheet. Number 1. What are the parts of a paragraph? Letter A. First part, second part, and third part. Letter B. Character, events, and setting. Letter C. Topic sentence, supporting sentences, and concluding sentence. Number 2. What part of the paragraph introduces the main idea? Letter A. Concluding sentence. Letter B. Supporting sentences. Letter C. Topic sentence. Number 3. This part of a paragraph includes sentences that support the topic sentence. A. Concluding sentence, B. Supporting sentences, or C. Topic sentence. For number 4, a concluding sentence is A. Summarizes the main idea of the paragraph, B. It provides information to the topic sentence, or C. Tells the reader what paragraph will be about. Read the paragraph and answer the questions 5, 6, and 7. My biggest dream in life is to become a doctor. I love watching movies where doctors are happy about saving lives of people. I will become a doctor to my grandfather who is sick. I will give him his medicine and check his body temperature too. I feel amazed at how doctors are being respected in our community. I want to become a doctor because I want to help my dearest father fight cancer. Number 5. Which of the following is the topic sentence of the paragraph? Letter A. I want to become a doctor because I want to help my dearest grandfather fight cancer. Letter B. My biggest dream in life is to become a doctor. Letter C. I will become a doctor to my grandfather who is sick. Number 6. 
Identify all the supporting sentences for the given paragraph. Letter A. The school also guides them to discover their talents, skills, and interests in life. Letter B. I love watching movies where doctors are happy about saving lives of people. Letter C. Life shapes us to become strong and independent. We learn from the problems that we encounter. Letter D. I will give him his medicine and check his body temperature too. Letter E. I feel amazed at how doctors are being respected in our community. Number 7. What is the concluding sentence in the paragraph? A. I will give him his medicine and check his body temperature too. Letter B. I want to become a doctor because I want to help my dearest grandfather fight cancer cells in his body. Letter C. My biggest dream in life is to become a doctor. For number 8 and 9 as well as 10, enumerate the parts of a paragraph. Are you excited to know your score? I will reveal the answer so you will know how much you have learned. Are you ready? Number 1. C 2. C 3. B 4. A 5. B 6. B D and E 7. B For 8, 9, and 10, topic sentence, supporting sentences, concluding sentence. Congratulations! If you got 9 to 10, great job learner! You learned well in this module. If you got 7 to 8, very good! This module had been friendly to you. Keep up the good work. If you got a score 6 and below, you did well. You could have done better if you used this module well. Anyway, you can still go back to the discussion and read it all again. Don't give up! And for your last task, additional activities, you're going to think of your most unforgettable moment in life. Write a simple paragraph with four to five sentences. Identify the topic sentence, supporting sentences, and concluding sentence. Write this on your answer sheet or in your journal. There you go! I hope you enjoy our lesson today because you did a good job! See you again on our next virtual class. Once again, I am your English teacher, Ma'am Adisa L. Lupapa. Goodbye!